Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between the three most popular men's dress shoes. The Oxford, the Derby and the Blotcher. In the US, the term Oxfords is oftentimes used to describe any kind of dress shoe. But that is simply incorrect. Oxfords are the most formal of men's dress shoes and they were invented in England and named after the city of Oxford, where they first appeared around the 1840s when men switched from boots to exposed or low-cut shoes that wouldn't cover the ankle. It's the best shoe to wear with business suits, tuxedos, or informal suits and sport coat combinations. Oxfords come in all kinds of variations. There are brogues, there are hole cuts, there are captos, but basically the defining feature of Oxford shoes is their closed lacing system. If you look here, you see it's only open on top, but it is closed down here. On the other hand, an open lace system is open at the bottom. Oxfords are only this, closed lacing shoes. The Derby is defined by its open lacing systems. It means that it's open at the bottom. It's a much better shoe for people who have bigger feet because it simply fits more comfortably around it and will be much more comfortable to walk around. Derbies are slightly less formal than Oxfords and hence they are better for sport court combinations, chinos and jeans, especially in brown. Personally, that's the way I wear them. In England and in the US, derbies are usually a little less formal than Oxfords, so for black tie and white tie events, you would choose an Oxford shoe rather than a derby shoe. People often get confused about the difference of a derby and a bloucher, because basically both have an open lacing system. In all honesty, I think it's totally fine to use these terms interchangeably. If you really want to point out a difference, it is that the derby is basically a piece of leather on the side that is joined in the back and goes all along the other side. On the other hand, a bloucher simply has a slight piece of leather that is sewn on on both sides and uh, both feature the open lacing system. They look very similar and they are very similar. And hence the distinction between bloucher and derby is basically irrelevant. As a well-dressed man, you want all three kinds of these dress shoes in your shoe closet. Um, personally, I probably have about the same number of Oxfords and derbies or bloucher's. You can also have slightly more Oxfords or slightly more derbies and bloucher's depending on the size of your foot and the degree of formality of your wardrobe. If you have more informal garments, have more derbies and bloucher's. If you wear more suits uh, because you have a white collar job, um, you should have more Oxfords. The pairs you see here are all shoes from my collection. This black Capto Oxford is one of the first shoes a man should have because it goes with any kind of suit. You can wear with a black tie if you really uh, mirror shine it and I can only recommend you get a pair. The derby here in the middle is actually the first pair of Gucci welted shoes I bought back in 2002. It has been resold many times. I've worn it on uh, four different continents and um, take a look. It's still great and it's a perfect example of why you should invest in quality rather than in quantity. The Bloucher here is a new shoe in my collection. I haven't worn it that often. One of the easiest ways to change the look of a shoe is to change its shoelaces. And so I always play around with different colors depending on my mood and the formality. If you want to be super formal, go with a black Oxford and black shoelaces. If you want to change the look a little bit, use some lighter colors and it looks very different. 